Hello and welcome back to Sotan and Brain Hub. In the last video we covered the basic structure of the brachial plexus, so if you haven't already you may wish to go back and watch that one first before we cover the more complex branches in this one. By my count there are 10 further nerves from the plexus that you need to know, but please do check with your individual university's syllabus. As in the previous video, we'll start medially and work laterally. I've already drawn in the nerves we covered before. Let's start with the two branches from the roots. The first is the long thoracic nerve, which originates from C5, 6, and 7. From here, it passes verti vertically down the neck to innervate serratus anterior, also called the boxer's muscle, for its major role in the protraction of the scapula needed to throw a punch. The second is the dorsal scapular nerve, originating from root C5 and passing posteriorly to innervate the rhomboid muscles. These antagonize serratus anterior by retracting the scapula. Moving on to the trunks, the branch to know is the suprascapular nerve. This branches from the superior trunk and runs posteriorly to innervate supraspinatus, which abducts the arm for the first 15 degrees of motion, and infraspinatus, which is responsible for lateral rotation of the arm. Next up, the branches from the cords. From the lateral cord, we have the lateral pectoral nerve, innervating pectoralis major. From the medial cord, we have the medial pectoral nerve, which innervates both pectoralis major and minor. A good way to remember which way round the innervation is for these is medial more, lateral less. Additionally, branching from the medial cord is a pair of nerves. Proximally, we have the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, and distally, we have the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. These are sensory nerves only, and do what they say on the tin, innervating the skin on the medial, arm, and forearm respectively. We're nearly there now, we just need the three other branches of the posterior cord, which leave the cord in a tight trio. Most proximally is the superior subscapular nerve, which supplies the superior portion of subscapularis. In the middle, the thoracodorsal nerve, which runs down the axilla wall to supply latissimus dorsi, and finally, the inferior subscapular nerve, which innervates the inferior portion of subscapularis and teres major. And we're done! That was a lot to cover, so sleep on it, try and fit it in with the other anatomy you know, and hopefully it'll begin to make sense. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.